I got sick of that orange not working properly so I put some green back on it and I haven't bleached it so it might go a bit swampy I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be a bit swampy and patchy and ugly I don't know but oh, my hair was making me sad so I had to just chuck some green on there <laughs> red my face is it's because <laughs> I just did um, a live stream and it was the first one where I'd actually made it public and I worked on this I was putting these tiny little beads around the edge um, but oh my god it set off my anxiety so bad it was the same as if I was like out with people um, it just felt that same like I was really conscious of my breathing and I felt a little bit shaky and it, it just I don't know it was really weird <laughs> it made me really hot um but I did it and I made myself um I stayed live until I'd got all the way around because that was my plan and then I just kind of ran away at the end but <laughs> I think that if I keep doing the live streams then that might be good for my mental state because maybe I'll get better at it, maybe I'll be less anxious and then maybe that'll help in the real world as well when I go out. <laughs> maybe if I keep doing them, um, I'll get better at life. <laughs> oh my God, why was it so weird? I didn't even drink my tea. Okay, that's lukewarm. Um, yeah, it felt so similar to when I'm out. I mean, I don't, I'm not around people much and I'll just be sitting there hoping that no one's looking at me and trying really hard to not do anything that's going to draw any attention and you're thinking, oh, what is my face doing? How am, am I, can people hear me breathing? Am, am, am I doing something weird? Like, what's my face doing? <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> I'm freaking out now. I feel so silly. <laughs> but I'm going to keep doing them, however awkward I am. And even if no one watches them, although there were a couple of people there I saw, I think it said at the end that there had been people there. So that was nice. Thank you for being there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing them and hopefully I will get less anxious about it. And that can only be a good thing.
but anyway I finished this edging and I don't know now whether this is done or whether I should mount it onto something does it need like a backing or do I just hang it somewhere like that just as a doily I don't know because then I guess whatever you hang it against is going to influence what it looks like if it doesn't have a backing, but then maybe that's kind of cool. I'd have to put it, um, figure out what to put it on to take a photo if I was going to share it. Ooh. I'll just have to let that sit in the back of my mind for a bit, figure that out. I am in the process of working on this piece. It says, I love you more than they can hate you. And it's secondhand felt on an old t-shirt. And I'm gonna make a frame for it out of, like a painted frame out of cardboard, I think. I'm not sure that I'll get it finished in this video, but I just wanted to talk a little bit um, while I'm thinking about it while I'm working on this. The idea to make this came to me after hearing about what happened to Brianna and just feeling heartbroken and the grief for that one girl but also the grief for all of the violence against trans people and queer people in general and I guess it just builds because there's so much of it and any amount would be too much but yeah it's just <sighs> um the usefulness of crafting and using your hands I don't think can be underestimated I think it's it's just so good for you um I know that if I was just reading about this and watching the news and just taking it in any of these stories I I would either just shut it off can't think about that N no thanks like just distance myself from it as a sort of protective thing that I wonder if it is actually a good thing to do or not or just get really angry and that whenever I get really angry about stuff like that it, it doesn't make me feel better it doesn't go anywhere because there's nothing you can do with those emotions you just 
go around in circles because it's so like you're looking for an answer and there isn't an answer because it's so illogical it's just yeah I don't find anger useful personally it doesn't get me anywhere but working on something like this I think like it gives me the space to feel sad and to grieve and to be slow about it and I don't know there's something about using your hands to make something that just I don't know it's just I find it useful in a lot of different ways but for this specifically I have um yeah I have found that it's it's helped me process it a little bit I guess like I said it just gives you space to yeah feel feel sad I don't know what, what else you can feel it's just it's just horrible it's just so sad <laughs>